uh, Shalom. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to my apostles and elders at GMS that told me this truth. And all you brothers in the four corners of the earth. You know, preaching and teaching this word in sincerity and in truth. Confusion of faces, brothers. You know, among the heathen, in the four corners of the earth. And the sisters. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Bashem Raka Kodash. Bracketum to you all and your families. You know, much love and respect. You know, the name of this lesson is Faithful are the wounds of a friend. You know, and we know the meaning of that word friend. It go back to brother. You know, I've been meditating and thinking about some things, watching some videos. You know, you got that time when you're by yourself. You think about the journey that you that you walked in this truth. You know, and and the things them that you went through, your ups and downs, your falls. You know, all the people that have been that have been good to you, the, the the brothers, the sincerity of the brothers, and all those things, you know. And. This scripture in Proverbs 27 verse 6, it says, Faithful are the wounds of a friend, but the kisses of an enemy are deceitful. Because there was times in this truth, it happened to all brothers, you know, that a next brother may offend you carnally. They do carnal stuff and it hurts you. You know? But that brother might have did that about, let's say, 10 out of 100 times. You know, the, the other 90, he been good to you. He been sincere to you. You know? But them 10 times, you know, all you remember that is them ten times that that brother offends you, and that ain't good. You know, with us being a part, we open that we are part of the house of David. When you go into the issue of the house of David, you know the the love that was among them was sincere. You know, it was in sincerity. When you read First Chronicles, the 12th chapter, when the 12 tribes, men from all 12 tribes, they come and meet David, the scripture tell you that the men them was of a perfect heart. You know, there was perfect heart. You see? So, you have to forgive your brother because you seeking forgiveness from Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right? Faithful are the wounds of that friend. But it's best that that friend wound you in that way than for an enemy do it. You see? So now, let me get the next precept. Back here. Ecclesiasticus chapter 10 verse 6. It says, Bear not hatred to thy neighbor for every wrong, and do nothing at all by injurious practices. So that's the wrong spirit for looking to see every point that a brother go off. You know. Just waiting for a brother to go off. You see? 
And even if you are wrong and that brother go off, the scriptures say you do it in meekness. All right? You admonish that brother in meekness. You see? Not hating that brother for every wrong. Remember the good times that I, the good things that that brother was there, bracing you when you when you didn't have nothing. You know, when you when your spirit was down, when you didn't have nothing, like the the brother that that told me this truth when I now come into this truth. You know. I told me this truth. I went into the Hebrew and showed me the meaning of my name. You know, your brothers know him. You know, his new page now is um GMS. Um, not GMS. New Beginnings. I feel it's First Corinthians five, verse seventeen. I think it is that we walk by faith, not by sight. You see that brother? Yeah, his name is Bukar. He taught me uh, when I when I come into the shoot, he you know he walked with me as a baby. Because when I now come in there was there was demons on me. You know. And I fast and I pray and Yahweh Shai was giving me visions. You know, I was seeing things, spiritual things that I didn't understand that was bringing great fear upon me. And as the Lord was, the Lord was putting his fear in me. And a lot of, a lot of times that that brother was there to comfort me, you know, because I didn't understand. I didn't understand what was going on. You see? And then he would get into the scripture. I remember late in the night, you know. I would message the brother and you know, I remember one night that uh, I had a vision. I wake up shaky, sweating, scared. You know, think I was going the, the that I would die. You see? And I messaged the brother to, and he replied to me, and the words from his mouth comfort me, comfort my spirit. You know, and I went went back to sleep like a baby. You know, and these are the things that the brother fall a lot of times. He went off. Keep getting our back on to this day. Still giving double honors to the apostles and the elders. Still preaching a 100% truth. Still doing his thing. You know, he's still obeying the Lord and everything. You know, I shout out to all the brothers that, that are not in GMS but still pushing this truth. 100. You know? Still pushing this truth 100 to the max. All right? And giving double honors to the apostles because these are the men. These are the men of the Lord. These are the presbytery. You know, that, that lay their hands upon us and give us this, this, this gift. You see? That is by prophecy. Yahweh Yahushai, Bashem Kodash use their vessel. To do it, you know, and they put in the work. The scripture tell you, tell you praise, praise the the, the men. Let me see if I get that real quick. Yeah. Ecclesiastes 4.44 verse 1. Let us now praise famous men and our fathers that begot us. You see? Reverence, respect, honor. Right? 
So, there ain't supposed to be no hatred among the brotherhood. No grudging. You know? Let me read this scripture here. Ecclesiasticus 22 verse 25 I will not be ashamed to defend a friend Neither will I hide myself from him And if any evil happen unto me by him Everyone that hear it hit Will be weary of him You know You have to be sincere in this truth Get the next one. Ecclesiasticus 19. Ecclesiasticus 19 verse 13. Admonish a friend. It may be he have not done it. And if he have done it, that he do it no more. You know. Admonish thy friend, it may be ye have not said it, and if ye have and if ye have that ye speak it not again. So you have to leave place for mercy. You know? The scriptures say a fool hasted to wrath. You see? Wrath lieth in the bosom of a fool. You know, and the wrath of man, like it's in the book of James, worketh not the righteousness of the most high. And if you have wrath in your spirit towards a brother, you can't make it into the kingdom. All the works, all the videos, all the years you've been in this truth is vain. You've been laboring in vain. So let me read that back. Admonish a friend. It may be he have not done it. And if he have done it, that he do it no more. Admonish thy friend. It may be he have not said it. And if he have, that he speak it not again. So if a brother do anything that you don't like, go to you one on one. Warn that brother. Ask he, inquire. You know? Give him the benefit of a doubt. Inquire. You see? Admonish a friend. For many times it is a slander. And believe not every tale. You see? You give that brother the benefit of a doubt. But you examine. Right? You examine in sincerity. In a humble, meek spirit. There is one that slippeth in his speech, but not from his heart. And who is he that have not offended with his tongue? And that's plain, bro. We all been slipped with, the, with our tongue. We all said some things in hunger that we didn't mean to say. You know, and, and afterwards, we, go and we, we repent about it. But if you ask in your Basham, you shy for repentance, for doing that. And your brother asks you for repentance and you you shun him. You don't want none to do. You don't care. You think the Lord gonna forgive you? The Lord didn't want none to do with you. If you say that you love the Mosa and you don't love your brother that you see, you know, <laughs> shit. Verse 17, admonish thy neighbor before thou threaten him, and not and not being angry, give place to the law of the Mosai. You see? And that's the point. The fear of the Lord is the first step to be acceptive of him, and wisdom ob obtaineth is love. See if I get any more precept. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Got one more and that will be it. You know, and to all the, the, the elder brothers, the bigger brothers, you know, from, from the GMS me and Cam, shout out to your brothers. I've been looking out for us over here in Guyana. You know? We really need the support. You know, y'all bash him, y'all share bash him, okay, kodash back a thumb to your brothers. You know, and all, you know, Things things down here in 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 that fast. There's a lot of demons, so <laughs> your brothers could pray for us that we get spiritual strength to endure. You know, pray for our brothers. You know, we look out for for your brothers' videos. All the brothers in the four corners of the earth. You know the. GMS sincere brothers, you know we, we look out to your brothers to lead us, to take us home through the spirit and power Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know to lead us. You know I mean Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai give your brothers. You know all the elders, the apostles. Seven full of the spirit, you know. Seven full of the spirit. This is Matthew 18, verse 32. Then his Lord, after that he had called him, said unto him, O thou wicked servant, I forgive thee whole that debt because. Because thou desirest me, shouldest not thou also have had compassion on thy fellow servant, even as I had pity on thee? And his Lord was wrath and delivered him to the tormentors, till he, till he should pay all that was due unto him. See? So likewise shall my heavenly Father do also unto you, if ye from your hearts forgive not every one his brother their trespasses. Because if you don't forgive your brother, what sense you pray? You have to forgive your brother from your mind. Make sure nothing in your mind against that brother. Go to that brother one on one. Talk to you. You know? This truth is real. You know, and, we, and we, we see all these prophecies We're in the year of Karagma 2019. You know? Now we're supposed to get a spirit of charity more. Pray for more spirit of charity. For you brothers who don't know what charity is. Let's examine it. 1 Corinthians 13 verse 1 Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels and have not charity, I am become a sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains and have not charity, I am nothing. So you could be all day prophesying, you know, breaking down the scriptures in style. You know, looking beautiful, but you don't have charity. You see? So if you don't have charity, you're doing all that in vain. And though I bestow all my goods to, to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be born, and I have not charity, it profit me nothing because there is brothers that think that you know, they they, they they give in, they help him brothers, you see? They give in, they help him brothers, they, everything they get, they, they're doing the work, they're grinding, you see, and they think that's all. You see? Now let's examine charity. 
and have not charity because that's not charity it profit me nothing this is charity verse 4 charity suffer it long and is kind charity envy not charity vaunt not itself and that word vaunt when you go into it it means boastful don't looking down on a brother do you know for no cause remember that you was in the state of that brother you know and one of the things I always ask Yahweh Shemyan Shai for to make me remember all the good things that, that he did for me where I come from because the moment you forget that you know it's pride bro you puffed up you, you, you gone you start looking down on people you start spitting on them you think that you is the shit You know, it say, do not behave itself unseemly, seek it not our own, it's not easily provoked. Right? Seek it not our own, it's not easily provoked. Think it no evil, rejoice not in iniquity, but rejoice in the truth. Bear it all things, believe it all things. Hope all things, endure all things. Charity never faileth, but whether they be prophecies, they shall fail. Whether they be tongues, they shall cease. Whether they be knowledge, it shall vanish away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part, but when that which is perfect is come, then that which is in part shall be done away. When I was a child, I spake as a child. I understood as a child, I taught as a child, but when I became a man, I put away childish things. You know, and that was, that's when we was in the war. We never had no real friend, we never had no real brothers when we was in the war. Because all of them would supplant you for vanity. You see? There's, there, there, there's brothers that, in the truth, that get you know, some 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 friends in the world that, that will go hell and back. But they ain't believe in the truth. You know, they, they would stick with you through whatever situation, even though they don't know the scriptures. You know, but the scriptures say, a faithful friend is given to a man that fear the Lord. You know, roughly paraphrase that. For now we see through a glass darkly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then shall I know even as also I am known. And now abided faith, hope, charity, these three. But the greatest of these is charity. I see, so brothers, you have to make sure that <laughs> that you're doing the right thing, that you're on the right page, that your labor is not in vain. Examine yourself daily. You know, and again, to water for your brothers. Now, Bashim Yahu Shai, Bashim Raka Kodash Bakatam, your brothers and your family. You know, the house of David, hopeful elect. We make it out there. Shalom, y'all stay strong. Much love and respect.